If you watch this channel at all, you'll know that one of the things I harp on, and I say it over and over again, careful visual inspection. You can diagnose them so much faster, so much easier, just by paying attention. Look at the little things. So this time cutter came in, Toro time cutter came in, no start. Customers already replaced that park brake module, starter solenoid, he said, won't start. So to get it off the trailer, I took my jumper box, cut the key on, jumped over to the starter, boom, fired up, drove it off. That's how I drove it in here. So I got my old test light out, put it on the battery. You know, it, it lights up nice and bright. I see they put the new module in, new starter solenoid. I test on these fuses right here. Excuse me, that's my mic thing. Uh, I test on these fuses. I noticed, man, they got a 25 in there. I don't think it's supposed to have but a 20. There's another one over here. I got no juice coming to them and no juice coming into the back in case they were corroded. So do you see the problem? I can see it right here. It is very obvious to me. I'm going to give you a second. Now, why they went and replaced this new module, put a new solenoid in, I don't know yet, but I can see one thing already. Notice this is the wire to the starter. This is the wire to the battery. But what else do you see? Look at that little red wire right there. They've got it on the starter wire. I don't care which post you put it on, it does not matter, it's just a switch. But the little red wire has to go on the battery positive. So let's switch that out right quick. So the first thing I want you to do, let's disconnect this negative battery cable. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I just dropped the nut. I'll never, there it is. I didn't think I'd ever see that again. All right. Negative battery post disconnected. All we're going to do now is switch this around. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to pop that off. I'm going to leave them just like they are. I don't care what side they're on. Doesn't matter. See right there. Let's put this over here. Make sure my key is off for when I hook the battery back up. Can y'all see or is my wrench in the way? Wrong way big dummy all right let's hook this back up i don't like these little uh carriage bolts but that's what he's got on there so that battery looks real stable there doesn't it not a problem all right i'm up in your way again wonder what's going to happen now what let's see what's going to happen but i got something to tell you if you run into a problem with your starter solenoid i want you to check out this video right here i'm gonna put it down in the comment section it's called just clicks on a cub cadet riding mower all these solenoids work the same watch that video it tells you a lot of good information about this stuff choke no start there we go. Whew. About to lose my gun. Hope you like this short video. Thanks for tuning in to Rayleigh Small Engines. I'm T-Bone. We'll see you next time. Give us one of them thumbs up, subscribe, and share these videos with your friends. See you soon.